పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఇవాల్యుయేషన్ రిపోర్ట్ ఫర్ ఏ ర్యాక్ సిస్టమ్ సో హియర్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఫైవ్ స్కోర్స్ రిప్రజెంటింగ్ హౌ డిఫరెంట్ కాంపోనెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ర్యాక్ ఆర్ పర్ఫార్మింగ్ ద జనరేటర్ విచ్ సింథసైజ్ ద రెస్పాన్స్ ద రిట్రైవర్ విచ్ రిట్రైవ్ ద డాక్యుమెంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద విక్టార్ స్టోర్ అండ్ దెన్ రీవ్ రైటర్ sometimes when the questions are complex uh, we may have retriever component which rewrite the questions in vector index uh, friendly manner so that the re- uh, the retrieved uh, documents can be more relevant to the question and then we have the router uh, we can have different types of routers for example one can be uh, assessing if the user query is actually relevant to the index uh it should go ahead and retrieve the documents from the vector store or it should go and do some web search etc or we can have a router uh, to figure out uh, the user uh, intentions and then here we have the knowledge base itself so all these five scores uh, those are between 0 to 100 uh, the higher the score the better it is and then here we have the overall uh, correctness score so the correctness how correct uh so to create these reports uh, what we do is we provide a test data set where we have a bunch of questions the corresponding answer which is the ground truth and the context based on which the ground truth is derived okay so uh the evaluation system use the data it will query the rag system to generate the response and it will compare how good the generated response is compared to the ground truth uh, to evaluate this correctness score okay and then here we have some commentary now the questions are classified into uh, multiple uh, 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 sort of these categories or groups so here we can look at uh, how the correctness is uh, over different groups now all the these questions are based up of uh, this climate change report uh, it's a 81 page uh, uh, very comprehensive report so we are we have generated 120 questions based out of uh, this report and fed them to the uh, evaluation system okay so overall uh, the score is about uh, 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 75 ish and then uh, within each topic Uh, we can see so for example answering questions related to this uh, global ghc emissions uh, the llm is quite struggling whereas it is doing much better uh, uh, in answering climate change projections okay so we can analyze by topic as well uh, this is not that interesting but here uh, we are just looking at uh, these embeddings visualized in two dimensions so here we have uh, the document split into chunks uh, so here we have the document content and uh, each uh, chunk uh, is mapped to a specific topic okay so we are looking at different topics and within those topics uh, how we are doing which uh, the incorrect answers uh, etc okay but the more interesting one uh, is this one so here uh, we are making use of this ragas uh, very famous llm evaluation library so here we have uh, the overall the context recall and the context precision uh, as i mentioned we have 120 questions right so if you look at uh, here so the number of questions is 120 and for all those 120 questions the context recall is between 0.95 to uh, 1.0 so the recall is extremely high for this system right so similarly you can see for precision uh, so for example between 0.2 to 0.5 uh, there are uh, for seven questions uh, that's how the context precision is but still uh, we have very high uh, precision also uh, for 63 questions uh, we can see similar metrics uh, topic wise so here we have the topics uh, climate change action uh, the assessment impacts uh, projections so and so forth these are all the topics we have and then the question types uh, again uh, i have explained uh, in my previous video uh, what are all these question types but basically we have these very simple questions then the complex questions 
the conversational ones uh, which are uh, based on uh, the previous uh, question so these this is more like a follow up questions and then the distracting one so within the question we include some unnecessary information uh, to distract uh, the llm the double means uh, we have two questions within a single question and then we have also situational questions we provide some situation within the question okay so all these question types etc uh, explained very clearly in my previous video all right so let's see how we can generate uh, such a comprehensive report uh, using uh, this library called giscard uh, one more thing uh, in addition to the context precision and recall uh, we can extract uh, the faithfulness as well as answer relevance as well now if you want to know more about the definitions of these metrics uh, please check out my uh, previous videos i provide the link in the description all right let's get to the code all right so as i mentioned in a previous video we have generated uh, uh, some questions right uh, so we have saved them uh, into this uh, json file uh, so just loading the file converting to data uh, pandas data frame uh, this is how it looks like so we have a question the reference answer which is the ground truth and then uh, the context based on which this uh, answer is derived okay and uh, the conversational history that is available for the conversation type questions and then we have uh, some metadata so metadata uh, it has these three so the question type uh, the source document uh, or the chunk id and then the topic okay so these topics again uh, these are all uh, derived or synthesized by the uh, llm itself right so we generated all these questions by making use of an llm so if you look at in this report that's what we have here so here we have these topics all these topics and then we have the question types okay all right um, all right so within the metadata so as i mentioned uh, so for each question type uh, out of 20 uh, we have uh, equal distribution 20 questions for each type now let's quickly build a rack system okay all right we are making use of uh, lama index uh, very very standard stuff uh, for the llms uh, we are using lama 3.1 uh, using olama and nomic embedding text all right so we read the pdf file uh, so we initialize our loader we have a splitter so load the pdf file and chunk it create embeddings put them into vector store so a lot happening under uh, uh, this command okay and using the index create a chat inger uh, by providing the llm okay so it's a very minimalistic uh, very simplistic uh, uh, rack system all right so let's just ask a question so this is how the response look like uh, it include a lot of metadata but the key elements are uh, the response dot response uh, which actually contains the response so to our query this is the response and then the source node contains uh, the retrieved documents so here we have uh, two chunks or two documents retrieved and here we have the it's a list here we have the content of those two documents okay so that's a very simple rag system now let's see how we can uh, provide uh, these questions uh, to the rag system so that we can create a report like this all right it's actually super simple um all right so we are making use of this kiss card library uh, it's a very nice library um and then uh, we are not going to use any open ai models but uh, the open ai api uh, through which uh, we can access or we can provide uh, these uh, uh, open source llms to the giscard okay all right from giscard so the knowledge base uh, so we provide uh, the evaluation system uh, our source document uh, uh, which is this knowledge base and then evaluate our main function and then this uh, uh, agent answer this is just to wrap the response with the source documents all right and then from ragas uh, we can have these uh, metrics uh, the context precision recall so and so forth okay all right so first let's set up or initialize uh, the model for the evaluation system now the important thing is there are two llms involved in this 
one LLM is for the rack system. So we are making use of this LLM to synthesize the response. Okay, so it's an integral part of rack system or it's also called the generator. Okay, so this part, the generator. And then we will be making use of another LLM to evaluate the performance of rack system. Okay, so we need a second LLM which ideally should be a different LLM, right? We don't want to use the same LLM to evaluate the performance of the same LLM. Of course, we are evaluating a rack system performance. We can still uh, use it, but ideally we should have a different LLM, okay? But in this case, I'm using again Llama 3.1 uh, as an assessor for the rack system, okay? Rack system itself is using the same model as a generator, okay? All right. So the same document, uh, we are just creating this Giscard knowledge base type, which is simply, uh, we split the document into smaller chunks, which is called these nodes. So from the nodes, uh, we convert this into a data frame. So the Giscard, it expects this knowledge base uh, in a data frame format. So that's what we have done here. All right. Now, uh, I ran this system uh, using OpenAI, uh, which costed me about uh, $6, and then I was trying with uh, uh, open source models, but it is extremely slow. So instead of running over all 120 questions, uh, I'll run uh, just over two questions just for the sample, but we look at the report for the uh, 120 questions, okay? So that we have enough uh, statistics. All right, the important thing we need to do is uh, the rag response we wrap uh, into a function like this. So the function, it takes the question and it returns the rag response as well as the context, retrieved context, okay? So the chat engine we built here, so the chat engine we built here, we wrap it into a function which takes the user query as an input and provide the response along with the context as an output, okay? Now, out of those 120 questions, 20 questions are uh, conversational questions, right? Uh, which uh, meaning they have some history. So if they have some history, uh, we take that history and uh, we include that uh, when we are asking the question. If not, as you can see here, the chat history is empty, okay? So we uh, just uh, invoke uh, the chat engine, right? We get the response. From the response, we get the context using the source notes and response dot response. That's the final answer. So we return uh, this one. Now, all we need to do is we invoke this evaluate uh, function to which we provide this function, uh, uh, which is just a wrapper on uh, our query engine. And then we have the test set, which contains all our questions, the ground truth, uh, the actual context, so on and so forth. Then our source documents, knowledge base. And then here we can specify what Raga's metrics we want to compute. So here I mentioned uh, the context recall and context precision, okay? We can uh, include the faithfulness and answer relevancy as well. So here, so the first uh, we are generating uh, these five metrics, okay, these five metrics. Um, so it's processing, as you see, we are, uh, this file, uh, it contain only two questions, okay. As you can see, uh, it's quite slow. So it's taking about 25 seconds uh, uh, to compute these five metrics for each question, okay. And then we have the correctness metric, uh, which is this metric, okay the correctness one. And then for the ragas, we have the recall and the precision. So for the ragas, we have the recall and precision, uh, which also taking uh, quite a bit of time. But as I mentioned, uh, here I have included uh, the faithfulness and the relevancy as well. So here you can see the ragas one, uh, it's a four times one for each. Uh, it's quite slow when I used uh, open source LLMs. Uh, with OpenAI, uh, it's much faster, but as I said, uh, it costed me over $6, okay? So be careful with. Uh, once we have the report, all we need to do is, uh, we just 
uh, save the report. Uh, so this will create a directory with a bunch of files. Uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, yeah, uh, here is one uh, such report. This is our uh, uh, HTML file, uh, which we just saw. And all the raw data uh, for those reports is included uh, within these uh, JSON files, okay? Now coming back to the report, uh, I mean, again, you can go over in detail, but uh, at a high level, the report contains uh, the five scores for the five components. Now, for simple rack systems, or for any rack system, we would have a generator and a retriever. Uh, we, uh, these two are optional, right? Uh, the rewriter, the question rewriter, as well as uh, the routing, uh, these are optional and are generally used uh, in advanced rack systems okay so these scores may not be relevant if you are using some simple rack system they will be either z uh, zeros okay uh, but the most important ones are the generator and the retriever ones and also the overall correctness score if we classify our questions uh, uh, into different topics uh, here we can check uh, how we are doing uh, uh, over each topic so that we can figure out uh, if certain topics are hard to uh, get the right answers, okay? And then for all the questions, uh, here we can look at uh, uh, the distribution of Raga's metrics, okay? Uh, for example, uh, maybe let's figure out one doing bad. Actually, the precision and recall is quite good for uh, uh, all these uh, metrics. Maybe let's look at the question type, uh, if uh, complex questions, uh, is it difficult? All right. So if you look at these distracting questions, uh, we have higher values here, right? Uh, within uh, in this low scores, uh, uh, low score range. Here we have two questions. Two, two. Uh, yeah. Here you will see we have seven questions with score zero between zero point eight to eight five. Ah, okay, so out of 120 questions, we have 20 questions uh, within this uh, distracting uh, type. Whereas if you look at conversation type, uh, for majority of the questions, uh, the score is quite high between 0 0.95 to uh, 1 point, uh, whereas here only for six questions. So answering these distracting questions uh, is more challenging uh, than uh, other types of questions. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I've been playing with this library from the last uh, uh, week or so. Uh, I find it quite uh, useful. Thank you very much.